It's a great pleasure to be here. I really enjoyed uh, the words of uh, Nick Cannon and uh, the things that he said had so much substance with uh, where we are today and what we're trying to do. It's so commendable to see people uh, like him and all of you that are coming together for such a good cause. And just to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, I was born in Oakland. I was raised here in Richmond. Uh, and Richmond is where I went through some of my hardest struggles, is where my parents split up, or where my mom got on drugs, uh, where I went to several different elementary schools, stayed in homes for battered women, uh, and wasn't supposed to make it out alive. You know, I've been here, I've heard of the gunshots, been around the Iron Triangle, uh, and I didn't really feel that I would make it, you know, to see 16, 18. Uh, but I stand here today because I changed the way I thought. And I think that's something that I would like to leave with you is that uh, after, you know, uh, changing how I thought and, and ended up going to college and changing, getting to a point where I could succeed academically. And next thing I know, I was hired by Toyota. I was in Japan uh, speaking Japanese learning a little, you know, different things and getting exposed to different management philosophies and then left there and was able to start several businesses and now I'm doing, you know, other things as an entrepreneur. But uh, one of the things that has never left me is that I can't shake the fact uh, that I have to remember who I was. And I'm telling you uh, really that, you know, I'm something today because I know I'm nothing, if you know what I mean. I know uh, how much that uh, I'm still just that little last key kid from Richmond that was looking for an opportunity. And, you know, you're one thought away from being anything that you want to be. And that's something that I would like to leave with you is that, you know, uh, you have to change the way you think about life. You have to change the way you think about, uh, you know, things when you get upset, when you get disappointed. You have to begin to think differently about things. And I think the fact that you came out here today, you know, you deserve the greatest reward and the greatest respect uh, for, for trying to even think about making a change. And all of you that are here uh, who give up your time and make sacrifices to be here, I can tell you that, you know, one of my biggest things is I call them the JGBs, the just get by, the people who just do enough to get by, just to get enough to get by academically or uh, in the things that they might do. But we have to start striving for excellence in everything that we do and the ability to excel. You know, I don't know who started this whole thing of, you know, that, you know, being mediocre is good enough or just, you know, doing a little bit is good enough. Or like Nick was saying, you know, where it got popular to be, you know, uh, uh, basically ignorant. You know, the more, the more ignorant I am, the more cool I am. The more I don't know, the more I fit. Uh, the more that I'll uh, do something dangerous with my own life, uh, the more accepted that I am. But I feel we can reverse that, but it begins in how we think. And when we start changing how we think, then we'll change how we act. And that's what uh, we're really trying to get down to because, you know, we can say all this good uh, things to you and you can even, you know, make a surface commitment. But until you inside begin to be honest with that, uh, that person on the inside that you know go home, goes home at night when no one's looking and you start thinking about who are you? Who are you going to become? You know, you start thinking about the things that you have, the things that you don't have. And you got to get real with that at some point. You know, I had to accept the fact uh, things that I saw, things that shaped my mind, shaped the way I thought. And I had to be real about the fact that if I didn't change that, uh, I was going to end up like so many of my peers. But I stand before you here today uh, because I changed the way I thought and I took advantage of an opportunity. And you say, well, you know, I'm still waiting for that opportunity to come. Well, it has come. It's here. It's right now. Uh, look, at what, look at what we have right here. Right now, today, you could be touched in a way that opens a thought in your mind that will take you on a different path where you never have to look back again. Today. It doesn't have to. It's not next week. Right now. Right now. We're all here. Right now. This morning. Right now. Here's the opportunity. We got uh, Nick Cannon here. We got James Cannon who helped produce Nick Cannon. We need more fathers like right, that as well. Right. You know, I don't know how many of you know. Well, there's still a, a, a daddy hunger that exists out there, as one of my counterparts often likes to talk about. You know, there's a hunger there. We're missing that fabric and that framework to keep our family strong. But what I like to promote as a you know, founder of Life Skills 411, despite if you had a father or what situation your mom is in, or if you don't have that uncle to, you know, to check you and get you back on course, or that grandmother like I had, you know, you gotta, you, we, we got to get those life skills in place and get those tools in your mind 
so that whatever your situation is, you can rise above it. So I hope to build a relationship with all of the youth out here. I'm looking forward to doing more in the community. I definitely don't have to be here, and neither do you. Nick doesn't have to be here, but we're here simply because we want to give back, because we care. We're keeping it real, and we're not just talking about it. We're coming down to the right, trenches right. and telling you that you can make the change. We're not going to tell you from up on the hill. We're getting down in the valley and telling you that you can rise above your situation, but it starts with how you think. So I say that with great love and with great honor and with great respect. And humbly, I'm telling you, I stand here as just an example to inspire you not to lift myself up in any way, but to tell you I feel very small in your sight because it wasn't just but a few years ago that I was you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, and I, I may God bless all of you. And let's uh, work together to start a movement of change because it's the time, it's the season, and it won't be stopped if we stay committed. May God bless you.